Okay YouTube, I haven't done uh, any videos in a while, it's been, been quite busy. Uh, I'm going to give you an update on some of the trees. Uh, mind you, I have harvested a lot of fruits uh, since my last video, but I'll show you what's remaining um, on the trees right now. So, let's just take a look. Okay, so over here um, we have uh, some pears that are ready. Um, this is the uh, five-in-one pear. You have Andrew Boss, and there's a couple others on there. Uh, see over here, this one is a little uh, yellowish green, and then you have the brownish kind. I think that's the the Boss. Let's take a look and see over there. All right. Okay, and I'm gonna pick one just to show you. Right. So this is what it looks like. Right. I mean, this is inside, and it's it's very good. Okay. So we're gonna make our way down. I'm gonna show you some other trees while I'm in the process. This is my uh, pond so far, for my pond project. Yeah, everything is going well. There's a uh, koi that's in there. I'm not quite sure if they will come up. But there, there, there are in there. There's a uh, koi and uh, goldfish um, that are there towards the bottom. Right, there they are. You can see them there swimming around. Okay, so let's uh, keep going. Here's the other pear tree. I'll just uh, kind of show you that as well. This is uh, Andrews, I believe. Let's take one of this. And uh, that's what it looks like. And it's, uh, it's ready. This is quite nice. It's right. So over here, this is my uh, raw gala. You can see there's uh, a lot of uh, apples on here. Let's see if we can go across. And uh, show you this. This is a nice apple. See? This is our raw gala. And uh, it's a really good tasting apple. Can you see? And uh, it's delicious. All right, let's keep going. There's uh, some other trees here that are ready. I want to make sure we get to see them all. And over here we have the Italian uh, prune plum, and uh, they're ready as well. And uh, there's one guy there. Oh, let's try to show you. So this is what it looks like. Italian prune plum. Oh, awesome. This is the inside. And uh, way to some plum. Come along. This is the uh, European plums, and uh, they're also ready as well. So we'll find a guy on here, kind of show you that. So, uh, this is what it looks like. And it's, it's more than ready. Very sweet, good tasting plum. Keep going. Now, this is the actual Santa Rosa. It's actually uh, end of season, but there's a few stragglers on here. You can see there, I'm trying to get this guy. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, that's not really a good one. Let's see if I could uh, find you some more. Yeah, it's about ending right now. I only have, there's barely a couple that are, that are left. Oh here, yeah, yeah, those are those are just about done. Uh, 
We use it to make jam and all other things, but um, nonetheless, Santa Rosa, we have been eating a lot off that. This is my fig tree. Um, this tree is like absolutely loaded. Um, I want to see if I can get in there and uh, show you a fig. There's like so many uh, figs on here. Nice to show you one. Oh, here's a guy. Let's see, see that guy right there? That's ready right here. Here we are. Just, cut, just fall right off my hand. So this is the uh, uh, Italian figs. I'm trying to open it with one hand, guys. Bear with me. You can see it just falls apart like that. It's more than ready. It's 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 just right consistency right now. And um, I can't begin to tell you what it tastes like. Very sweet. Very nutritious. Very good for you. I had this. Uh, fig tree here for a while. I am in Canada and I bury it. And you can see it's just every year it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, I normally just prune it back and um, you know keep it going. I have three of them. Uh, if I have two more. Maybe if I have time I show you those. So let's uh, keep going. So this is the uh, red delicious apples. Uh, that's what it looks like. It's not another couple of weeks it'll go red, and I'll show you what that looks like. But uh, uh, it's doing well, doing quite well. Let's go inside the greenhouse. So here's my greenhouse so far. It's just saturated with stuff. Everything is going very well. Um, let's take you inside. Uh, let's show you the uh, grapefruit. And if you've been following this, this is the grapefruit so far. It's quite huge now from my last video. You can see my hand. Let's take a look at this. More than a hand size. It's it's huge. I don't know over four inches at least maybe going on five inches these will get like really really huge there's another guy over here and it's just doing very well this is really really well aquaponics well uh, still going well I have basil up here I have uh, thyme uh, there's a couple other things that I have here but it's doing quite well basil thyme here's a basil plant like I showed you it's crazy and this is actually lemongrass that I put in here uh, it's quite nice and then you have some uh, little table tomatoes there and then you have the regular tomatoes going up here from the aquaponics and uh, inside the tilapias are, are huge um, they're growing really fast they're quite tame I mean, look at this so look, you see that like I could actually take these fish and touch them um, the way they're so tame. Look at that. This is so tame now. You know, you know, they're. I could pet them, and they're 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 okay with it. They're just so tame, as you can see. They want me to feed them something. Maybe I should. Just to show you. And, you know, they go crazy now. or tilapia. Uh, there's probably about 10 or so, maybe even more in there. They're gonna have babies in about a week. Um, they're a little bit late, but I'll show you that in a, in a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that's the tilapia in the aquaponic system. So, uh, the plants. Um, so, if you haven't watched my videos before, uh, this is uh, grapefruits here. Um, there you got uh, mango, it's a mango tree. This is what we call a breadfruit tree. This is the vid, the little picks I mean. 
This is what it looks like. That's breadfruit. And then we have the regular mango, which is over here. So there's a little shot of it over there. And then uh, uh, guava. This is guava. Uh, this is actually jackfruit. Um, that's what it looks like. This is jackfruit. Then we go into like the lemons and the limes. Uh, this is a lime. And then we have the Meyer lemon. Uh, this is what it picks what it looks like, Meyer lemon. And then I added this. This is actually a tangerine. Uh, it was about less than, I don't know, four inches. It's really big now. Then we have the miracle fruit. We have the navel orange. And you come across on this side, uh, this is actually a kumquat, a kumquat uh, uh, tree from the citrus family. Then you have your variegated lemons. And over here, this is actually avocado that's really taken off. Jeez. It's just like, it's it's gone. I have to trim it back. But this is uh, what it looks like, avocado. Okay. And it's doing uh, quite well. So that's pretty well much what's uh, going on in the greenhouse. Everything is, uh, is uh, uh, I guess, really well. Um, there's a couple of things. I did change my, my heater. I'll probably do a greenhouse heating uh, to the, uh, this is uh, Mr. Heater. Um, but I'll do a session on that, but uh, just, just so you know. Um, I was having some issues with the other one. So, so here we are, let's take you outside. Uh, it's about almost the end of season for us. Tomatoes, just a few stragglers left. Uh, pretty soon it's gonna get to our fall season. And um, you know, all these tomatoes are pretty dried up, but. Uh, as you can see, I, you know, I was getting really huge tomatoes off this. This is really small compared to what I was getting. And uh, you can see it's just everywhere. Uh, you know, you have the tomatoes and you have the normal canning tomatoes over here. Just really abundance of uh, tomatoes. And then it gets into the peppers and the Swiss chard. And so, yeah. So, hey, that's a quick, quick, uh, quick uh, update uh, YouTube. Uh, sorry, I've been very busy. Didn't get a chance to uh, make any more videos, but uh, hey, uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, so, hey, I'll see you in another video.